Greetings everyone, now this video is the patch notes for Hotfix 30.5.1 released on the 7th of July. So, Hotfix 30.5.1 changes. DE have increased Urelli's armor to 100 from 65. They restored the correct crafting requirements to the Exilus Weapon Adapter Blueprint, with a note that the blueprint no longer requires a built Exilus Weapon Adapter to craft an Exilus Weapon Adapter. They updated the All Requiem mod description to remove the needed to complete a lethal sequence line. They removed mentions of Arcane Adapter Blueprints in Teshin's Steel Honor Store. They also removed the Ambassador weapon eligibility from Conclave. As for the fixes, with 30.5.1 DE fix no enemy spawning during the final stage of the Once Awake quest, a crash that could occur during the Volatile Railjack game mode, a crash that could occur if you died on a K drive and when falling off the K drive. They fixed players who had previously vanquished a Kuvalich, not receiving the All Requiem at login. They fixed players that deleted their Wave Rider inbox message and were unable to progress. They also fixed a temporary inability to progress in the Wave Rider quest if you opened Rocky's inbox message while in Fortuna. Hosts kicking their goods after aborting the Lich Showdown mission once their Lich has been converted and vanquished, which also punished the other squad mates. They fixed the Sister of Parvo cinematic opening playing for everyone on login as opposed to the intended viewing of eligible players. They fixed an inability to redeem medallions for K-Drive standing while the Wave Rider quest is active. They fixed clients seeing the Corpus Axiom cruise ship with two shields. They fixed duplicate instances of the Kuva Grattler in the profile and codex. A few abilities, items, and screens that were not applying weapon noise reduction properly nor correctly interacting with mods that have that effect. They said this should resolve issues with Ivara's Prowl, Loki's Hushed Invisibility, and Banshee's Passive. They also fixed an issue where all mining lasers could benefit from the Silencer's widget. They fixed some hint colouring on Yorelli's body, the Hound Diversified Denial Ability Effect and Colouring, placeholders appearing in the Arcane Adapter, the missing standing gain UI pop-up when redeeming medallions, an issue where the backer of the mod frames when gilding and polarising modular weapon of the day would be slightly hidden, some Syndicate armor offsets, they fixed a script error occurring when viewing the Lich screen under poor network connections, script errors that could occur if you cast an ability right before the Hound's Denial Aura expired, several script errors in the Chains of Harrow quest, harmless script errors that you could run into when entering Railjack's warp to escape a Lich, a script error when casting Yorelli's Riptide, a script error when the candidate despawns, and they fixed a script error during a Kuvalich Sister Showdown mission. That was Hotfix 30.5 one on PC that of course released on the 7th of July and we're only just getting around to it now and I'm uploading it because archival reasons as usual.